Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry Sotovia at the Movies. So, here's the question for today. If you like a movie, and but the movie is objectively not good, versus a movie that you think is good but you just don't like, is there really a difference? Now, Certainly there is, between objective and subjective. The question I have, though, is I, I don't know. I'm really being honest. and it's, it's, I've actually struggled with this for years. If you can objectively say that a film is good, but subjectively don't like it, what if you objectively think, well, it is probably a good movie, but subjectively think it's not good? I mean, is that possible? So, case in point, I usually always point to Roger Ebert because his reviews, I have many of them committed at least certain phrases, let's say, to memory. So, Roger Ebert had said uh, about the big chill and the movie Ghost, okay? So, the big chill, for those of you who don't know, came out in 1983, directed and written by uh, Lawrence Kasdan. So, he gave both films thumbs down. Now, Ebert... Uh, said The Big Chill, it's a good movie. But he just didn't really care for it. Uh, Ghost, same thing. Actually, in his video, uh, or I should say in his, on his show, Siskel and Ebert in the movies, he said it's a good movie, but it just doesn't work, or something along those lines. Now, here's the question. I heard someone talk about a certain film, and I'm not going to mention it because... The fact is that I do think it's a masterpiece, but I think that maybe I've discussed it too often. So we're just going to leave the film's title uh, untitled for, for, for the moment. And they said it's a masterpiece. It is finely made, beautifully acted, blah, 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 but I just don't like it. So <clears throat> the struggle I have is that is it possible that a movie is good in your opinion? And that it is also something you like. So, for example, I, I, I don't see the objectivity necessarily because not everyone can agree on the same objectivity. You know, I've heard, for example, certain people say The Greatest Show on Earth by Cecil B. B. Uh, B. DeMille to be the worst film they had ever seen in their life. And I don't think they would have said, and, but it's a good movie. You know, no, they're not going to do that. So, what what are the guidelines? You know, in other words, what, what is the strategy behind calling something objectively good or great or objectively bad? But when, when you like or dislike, well, that's, that's, that's just your criticism. Subjective is how you feel about it. But you can objectively <laughs> criticize a film as well. So, uh, and subjectively. You know, I, I think they sort of run concurrently, so to speak. You know, they're parallel to each other. So, I, I just don't know. I mean, uh, you know, you can use an, an analogy like McDonald's food. I know it's not good for me. It's probably horrible food, but I, I like the taste of it. I just don't think you can apply that to films or to art. And the reason being that Film is a very peculiar medium. It has been for a very long time. I still, to all this, all these years that I've watched films and reviewed them, analyzed certain ones, I'm not even sure that I can really understand the mystery behind film. It's, it's a very peculiar medium. It really is. It's not like watching a play uh, or looking at a piece of sculpture, reading a book, uh, or reading a play, for that matter, or listening to a piece of music. Everything sort of, it just doesn't... I, I, I think there's a correlation between the two. And I think when it comes to film, because film and really the arts is really all dependent on how you receive them, it is not so much that we need a whole bunch of critics, maybe myself included, to tell you this is objectively a good movie or this is objectively a bad one. 
because really the, the problem with that is what if you love it? I mean, can you love a movie and say, well, but objectively it's a bad movie? It doesn't, I just don't see the correlation be be between the two. Maybe that's why I'm not really a, you know, full-fledged film critic and never really have been because I cannot understand that difference very well. I can understand having your critical thinking skills and understanding the motivation behind a piece of art or a movie, if you want to call it art, or whatever, uh, that is of art, an artistic endeavor in which you look at and you have an opinion. So the opinion has to be an informed one. That's what Harlan Ellison always said, and that's true. You know, uh, it's not enough to have an opinion. And, you know, today, probably we have a lot of people reviewing movies on, on YouTube who have an opinion, but it's not necessarily an informed one. Not generalizing, just saying there are some like that. You know who they are. Uh, or maybe you don't. I'm not going to say who they are. But nonetheless, maybe I'm one of them too. I don't know. I just cannot differentiate between the two. Because who really is going to say to me, what is the mass consensus that says this is objectively a good movie? What, what, what consensus is that? Who do we have to trust to that? It has to be a film scholar? It has to be other filmmakers? Or can it just be average people who see movies a lot or film buffs or whatever? And then, but your opinion is what people listen to. So I just can't, I think if a movie is good, I more than likely will like it. Now, I may not like a great movie, mainly because of the subject matter, which pinpoints to something else entirely different, right? You may not like the subject behind, say, The Boys of St. Vincent. I'm going to pull one out of the rug that came out back in 1995, because it deals with priests and pedophilia. You may not like the subject, but that doesn't make it a great movie or a bad one, right? That is just your, your, how you feel about the subject, how you receive it. But I think it is a great movie. Now, I don't know if that's really shared by a whole lot of other critics at that time. It's just, that's my opinion. I don't know if objectively it's great, because I can't tell you that. You know, I, I don't know what is the standard by which we measure that. If we all have to say objectively, well, objectively what? I mean, subjectively is really what matters. That's why we listen to film critics in the first place. We want their subjective opinion. Now, they can tell us that this is a great movie, but if they say, I can't recommend it, that's their subjectivity because of the subject matter, because they didn't like it, then I don't see how they could say it's a great movie. Now, maybe I'm totally wrong. Some of you can correct me. This is a short video, hopefully. So hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that has been circulating in my mind for many, many years. And... Uh, Liking versus loving versus whether it's a good movie or a bad one, usually I thought they went hand in hand. And it seems to me that that has not really been the case, and I just don't understand it. So, I don't know. I'm probably just naive when it comes to this. I'd love to hear your opinions out there. Tell me what you think. Uh, is there really a difference? Uh, being objective, do you have to be objective with art? Or can, is subjectivity really the most prominent and important thing, of, or of paramount importance, is your subjectivity, right? Because Pink Flamingos, for example, is technically not a uh, well-made movie. Uh, I don't know if it's really a good one, to be honest with you. But I do find it interesting as a piece of art. It's not well-made or well-constructed, but there's something about its very low-budget feel an amateur-like sense to it, that there is a filmmaker there who has ideas and he, he brought them to the surface, you know, and you can either like them or not, but, uh, you know, this is really where the problem stems from. So let me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you do have subscribed, hit the notification bell. I will be doing reviews soon. I've just been buried in my project, but uh, hopefully soon reviews are forthcoming once my project is complete or maybe even before that i just have to find the time it's uh, i haven't really seen many new movies at all in over a month and a half so but it will happen uh anyway 
I will probably be uploading some videos from my other channel that I barely ever use. There's some interesting things in there with regards to the Mandela Effect, which, you know, you've heard a lot, of course, but um, the one about Moonraker interests me the most, and I'd like to share it on this channel, so I think what I'll do is just delete it from my other channel and bring it here. So, anyway, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Good, bad, great. Subjective, objective. Is there really much of a difference? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there is. I still just don't understand it. So I'd love to hear from the rest of you. And that's all i got to say about that. This is Jerry Sadovia at the Movies, signing off.